I'm going to show you another way to uh, remove a stuck cotter pin and a crank here. Um, I did another video using a vise, and now I'm going to show you how to use remove it using a hammer. Uh, again, this is a 1969 Raleigh uh, bike, so it's about 45 years old. And as far as I know, this pin has never been removed. Um, so the first thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and remove this uh, nut here. Just remove it. And there's a little washer there, so I'm going to go ahead and remove these. Boom, 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 boom. And then I'm going to use uh, some uh, penetrating oil here and spray this dent in around the uh, pin. And also what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and tap the crank in a little bit towards the bike in here to hopefully help loosen up the pin a little bit and also help get the penetrating oil in there a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and just leave this set for about 15 minutes. Now one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, nut and there's plenty of threads coming out of here so I'm going to go ahead and screw this back on but not all the way. I'm going to leave like a little bit of a gap between the nut and the uh, the crank and what this will do is as I'm hammering down, I'm hammering down on this nut here and hopefully that will keep the end of the uh, pin from mushrooming out as I hit it and but there's still enough room for it to, to uh, when the pin starts to come loose for it to move um, it's not going to come all the way out but it'll uh, allow it to break loose and that's all I need then I want to put some sort of a brace uh, underneath this crank because as I'm going to be hammering down I don't want all that impact to go into the bearings and the races in the bottom bracket so what I've done is I've cut a uh, length of uh, it's a 2x3, you can use 2x3, 2x4 or something and what I'm going to do, and I drilled a hole in, in the one end of it here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the non-threaded side of the pin into that hole and this is actually just going to be resting on this little brace here so this brace is actually going to be kind of holding it up there and so as I hit down on it it's not going into all that impact's not going to go into the, the bearings. It's just going to go right onto this piece of wood there. But and the hole's deep enough so that when the pin breaks loose, it has room enough to go in, go down. Okay, well there's a couple ways you can do this here. Is you can take a claw hammer and just strike down on it like this. And one, you have to worry about hitting it uh, square, not an angle, and bending the pin. You have to worry. Don't you have to worry about like hitting the chain ring, hit everything like that. So you might be holding back on how hard you hit it. Um, but what I'm going to do is I have a steel bar and a hand sledge. So I can go ahead and put this, just set this right on top of there like this, and then strike down on the steel bar, and I can get a nice good impact, and not worry about having to hit any, worry about hitting anything here. So that's what I'm going to do. Let's go ahead and give this a shot here. Just one good impact. And I didn't break loose. Let's try it again. And nope. Let's try it again. And I think that did it. Okay, so I'll go ahead and remove this nut here. And then just try to tap the pin down in there. And just tap it out. And there, I have the pin out. And then the crank should just come like right off there. Yeah, so that is another way how to remove a cotter pin from a crank that is really, really stuck. Hope that helps.